Hello, welcome back everyone. Today I'm making a quick video about the QL muscle or the quadrilumboris. Um, the main stretch I recommend for this is a side bend straddle. So <clears throat> if you don't feel comfortable in a normal straddle, then the first step would be just to work on that. Uh, sitting on some cushions is very, very helpful. And of course, I'm not recommending that you start and try this stretch being cold. So you do these poses once you've done a proper warm up, especially if your body is stiff and needs that. So the side bend straddle is something you can approach in a couple different ways. You can have the hand to the inside or the outside and you take your stretch. The main thing that I want to discourage against is that people turn it more into sort of a side bend, forward bend, and start to angle down. Now, it's not the worst thing in the world, but you get the most effective stretch and you get really good healthy openness in your chest, an area that we close a lot from tension and emotional strain, right? So if you open the chest, you don't reach the hand as low, but you achieve more in the pose, and you get really deep into here that sort of the confluence of the mid and lower back. There we go. And sometimes your animals need attention while you're stretching and that's fine. So you would do both sides. You can also do this with one leg bent and that might be a little easier, but I find both legs extended. It opens your hips more and it opens your back more. So work on this if you feel a lot of discomfort in the area where the mid and low back meet. Usually that's some problem going on with the QL muscle. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm happy to make more of these videos to answer questions. For now, I'm just, just dabbling into it a little bit. Uh, and then as always, when dealing with the back issue, uh, you can't just stretch it out. So keep in mind that uh, muscular strengthening for your back, like doing the locust pose and various other poses that strengthen your posterior core, is usually necessary to help with pain in the back, but certain deep stretches are a wonderful combination to add to that. So anyway, if you like this video, please uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Also, I have a membership where I post regular classes ranging between five minutes and two hours, uh, usually more in the middle sweet spot area. Uh, check the link below to join the membership or check the public videos. I have plenty of classes on there too and you can send a one-off donation also in the link below. Thanks so much everyone. Take care.